Many movies and TV shows tell frightening stories of hauntings that end in tragic deaths. But are these tales based on real events? While many stories of poltergeists exist, has anyone truly died because of a ghost? While no official records list the ghost as a cause of death, there is evidence suggesting that some of these Hollywood tales may have a grain of truth. Let's explore the stories of 10 individuals whose deaths have been connected to the supernatural. You can decide for yourself how much truth lies behind them. One of the most famous deaths attributed, indirectly, to a ghost is that of the Hammersmith Ghost. In the early 1800s, rumors circulated in West London's Hammersmith district about a frightening spirit haunting a local graveyard. People claimed to have seen a figure in white, with a glass eye and horns, emerging suddenly from the shadows, wailing and moaning. Reports escalated when a pregnant woman said she was physically attacked, and a wagon driver fled in fear at the sight of the specter. The ghost was rumored to be a man who had recently died and was buried in the churchyard. Authorities took the reports seriously, sending armed patrols to arrest the ghost. One patrol member, Smith, encountered the ghost and, fearing for his safety, shot at it. Tragically, the victim was not a ghost but a man named Thomas Millwood, a plasterer wearing white clothes. The ensuing murder trial was unprecedented, with Smith initially sentenced to death, later commuted to hard labor due to a royal pardon. However, Thomas Millwood's spirit allegedly haunted the Black Lion public house, where his body was taken after death. It is said he whispers to patrons, bangs on walls, and makes loud footsteps, becoming the infamous Hammersmith ghost. In the early 1920s, archaeologist Howard Carter and the 5th Earl of Carnarvon uncovered the tomb of Pharaoh Tutankhamun in Egypt's Valley of the Kings. The tomb, dating back to the 16th century BC, was remarkably intact, sparking worldwide fascination. However, media reports sensationalized stories of a curse on those who disturbed the tomb, especially after Lord Carnarvon's sudden death in Cairo. Arthur Conan Doyle, creator of Sherlock Holmes, added to the speculation by suggesting an ancient Egyptian spirit was responsible. Although interest in the curse waned over time, several deaths of individuals associated with the tomb's discovery occurred in the following years. Arthur Mace, a member of the excavation team, died from arsenic poisoning in 1928. Howard Carter's secretary, Richard Bethel, reportedly suffocated in his sleep in 1929, and Sir Archibald Douglas Reed, who x-rayed the pharaoh's mummy, died mysteriously in 1924. The question remains, could an ancient Egyptian ghost be behind these deaths? Alcatraz is famously considered one of the most haunted places in the United States, with chilling stories emerging from its cells, particularly those in D-Block. Within D-Block lies a section known as the Hole, the coldest and most isolating area of the prison. Solitary confinement cells in the Hole contained only basic amenities, a sink, a toilet, and a dim light controlled by guards. Inmates endured long hours of boredom without reading materials, their mattresses removed during the day. The final cell, called the Oriental, was essentially a steel chamber for sensory deprivation with only a hole for waste disposal. In the 1940s, reports surfaced of a ghostly figure in late 19th century prison attire roaming the hole. Some believe this apparition may have been linked to a suspicious death. A prisoner locked in a hole cell claimed to see someone with glowing eyes, but his cries for help were ignored by guards. The next day, the inmate was found strangled to death, with fresh handprints around his throat. Despite speculation that a guard may have acted out of frustration, no evidence was found upon investigation. Could the ghost of a 19th century prisoner be responsible for the crime from beyond the grave? In 2013, residents of Tambon the Saong, a village in Thailand, faced terror from a ghost believed to be a widow responsible for the deaths of 10 men in just one month. The men passed away mysteriously, some while sleeping and others suddenly while walking, all declared to have died from respiratory failure by doctors. Since none of the men showed signs of illness, 
villagers sought help from a spirit medium, who identified the widow ghost as the cause. The medium advised residents to hang red shirts outside their homes to ward off the spirit, especially those with only one son, who were deemed most vulnerable to ghostly visits. While the mysterious deaths in Tambon the Song seemingly ceased, a different Thai district experienced similar terror in 2018. Was it the same ghostly widow haunting once again? Back in Kentucky in 1938, a man named Carl Pruitt returned home to find his wife with another man. Enraged, he strangled her with a chain before taking his own life. Soon after, strange events began to unfold around his grave. Visitors noticed discoloration on the tombstone resembling a chain. A boy, attempting to impress friends, chipped the stone with a rock and tragically died when his bicycle chain somehow strangled him. His grieving mother, in a fit of anger, attacked the tombstone with an axe, only to be found strangled by her clothesline the next day. Another incident followed when a farmer fired at the tombstone, causing his horses to panic and throw him from his wagon. As he fell, a rain wrapped around his neck, strangling him. Even two policemen, attempting to take photos at the grave, met tragedy as their car crashed into a fence, one officer fatally strangled by a chain. Despite the mounting deaths, one man dared to attack the tombstone with a hammer and was later found dead at the cemetery gates. How did he die? Yes, you guessed it, he was strangled by the chain that locked the cemetery gates. People terrified, the cemetery was cleared, and the cursed tombstone removed forever. Like and subscribe if you want more content like this. If you don't enjoy it, please dislike and provide feedback in the comments so I can improve future videos. In 19th century England, when someone died in mysterious circumstances, officials held inquiries called inquests to find out what happened. One such case occurred in Bristol in 1841 when Patrick Hayes, an elderly worker, fell downstairs and died. During the investigation, the wife of the inn's landlord, Mary Croker, shared a chilling testimony. She recounted hearing the sound of Patrick falling and shouting out. To her shock, Patrick's voice replied, saying, It is me, and I am dead. When questioned further, Mary revealed a spine-tingling detail. Patrick had seen the ghost of a lady in a silk gown haunting the house. According to Mary, this ghost had frightened two or three lodgers to death before. The tale captivated the court, raising questions about the supernatural and the role of ghosts in mysterious deaths. In the mid-1800s in South Yorkshire, UK, there was a woman named Hannah Rallinson. She and her husband were Mormons and had moved into new rooms in Sheffield. They met a woman named Harriet Ward, who had a frightening experience in their cellar. Harriet claimed to have seen a ghost of a terrifying, blood-stained old woman not just once, but five times in 24 hours, while awake and asleep. The Mormon community became intrigued by the Campbell Lane ghost and suspected that it was the spirit of a murder victim buried under the cellar floor. They decided to investigate by removing the cellar's flagstones. As they worked, a large crowd gathered outside, prompting them to cover the window to prevent onlookers. Hannah Rallinson went down to the cellar with a blindfold to investigate. What she saw there caused her to faint. She reportedly saw a woman in white who rushed at her before disappearing. Hannah's friends tried to revive her, and when she briefly regained consciousness, she claimed to still see the ghost of Elizabeth Johnson, a woman murdered by her nephew William Dawson over a century earlier. The ghost allegedly told Hannah that the house was marked with her blood and she had to leave. Despite being healthy, Hannah died the next day. Her death certificate cited sudden death and a fit believed to have been brought on by a fright as the cause of death. In the 19th century in Lancashire, England, there was a tragic incident involving a seven-year-old girl named Jane Halsall. According to the story, Jane's death was attributed to a ghost known as Spring-Heeled Jack. Reports of this spectral figure had circulated for many years, causing fear among the people. One day, 
Jane returned home and mentioned that her friends had warned her about the impending arrival of Spring-Heeled Jack in their town. Her parents tried to reassure her, but that night, Jane fell seriously ill. By the time the doctor arrived, she was unconscious. Just six hours before her death, Jane was heard saying, the ghost is coming. The coroner determined that Jane had died of fright, and he placed the blame on Spring-Heeled Jack, or rather the person impersonating the sinister spirit. In a remarkable turn of events, a coroner's court jury found Jack guilty of the girl's death. This meant that a ghost was tried and convicted in a court of law. In 1922, amidst the tranquil surroundings of Bavaria, Germany, the Hinderkaifeck farm became the stage for one of the 20th century's most perplexing murders. Despite its peaceful setting, the Gruber family, who resided there, lived in social isolation, marked by the husband's notorious abuse of his wife and an incestuous relationship with his daughter. Yet, the events that unfolded on the Gruber's farm shocked the local community. In late 1921, the family's maid, Maria, abruptly left her position, claiming to hear mysterious footsteps and voices in the house, fearing it was haunted. Six months later, the father, Andreas, discovered footprints leading from the woods to the farm in the snow, but none returning. He searched the area but found no one. That night, Andreas also heard strange noises in the attic, yet found nothing amiss. The mystery deepened when an unfamiliar newspaper appeared on the porch, followed by the disappearance of a house key and signs of tampering on the shed lock. Days later, concern grew among the townsfolk about the Gruber's whereabouts. Upon investigation, a gruesome scene awaited them in the barn, for family members' bleeding bodies stacked and covered with hay. Inside the house, the rest of the family and the new maid were also found dead. Though signs of strangulation were evident, the primary weapon believed to cause their deaths was a pickaxe. The case grew more complex. Despite the body's March 31st date of death, witnesses reported seeing smoke from the farm's chimney afterward. Evidence indicated recent meals eaten, a slept-in bed, and animals cared for, yet no theft occurred, with valuables left untouched. Was it a vengeful spirit or a brutal home invasion? The murders remain unsolved, leaving authorities puzzled and the truth shrouded in mystery. In 2009, the Jameson family vanished without a trace, leaving behind a perplexing mystery. Their bodies were not discovered until four years later, lying face down in the woods near where their abandoned truck had been found. Prior to their disappearance, the Jameson family had confided in others that they believed ghosts were haunting them. Their daughter, Madison, claimed to have regular conversations with a ghost girl who had died in their house years before. On the day the family disappeared, security camera footage captured them packing their vehicle, seemingly in a trance-like state. Despite extensive investigation, no cause of death could be determined. There were suggestions that the family members might have been possessed by the ghosts they believed inhabited their home. With the bodies severely decomposed, the exact cause of the Jamison's deaths remained a mystery, sparking speculation and theories. These are just some of the documented cases where deaths have been linked to ghostly encounters. The truth behind these incidents remains shrouded in mystery, leaving us to ponder the bizarre circumstances surrounding their demise. What truly transpired? The answer continues to elude us. Like and subscribe if you want more content like this. If you don't enjoy it, please dislike and provide feedback in the comments so I can improve future videos.